Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. This tutorial is on enhanced, the enhanced for statement. I'm going to go ahead and open up my website here to javacjava.com and click on the begin button. Let's go ahead and scroll down here to the enhanced for statement tutorial. And the enhanced for statement, which is also known as the for each loop, is used to iterate through the elements of a collection of objects, such as an array. In this tutorial, we're going to build on the knowledge you gain from both the single dimensional array tutorial and the for loop statement tutorial. Now the nice thing about the enhanced for loop is that you do not need to know the number of elements in the array prior to reading the array. All elements of the array are sequentially read from index zero through the end of the array. Now this is how the enhanced for loop is structured. You have your for keyword, and then inside of your opening and closing parentheses, you're basically declaring a temporary variable of a certain type or data type. Then you have your colon, and then you have your array, which is technically your array variable name. So um, then inside of your code block, opening and closing braces, Statements are executed here until all elements of the array have been examined. So let's go ahead and come down here and highlight this. Hit Control C to copy or right click and select copy. And let's move the browser off screen. Let's go to start search. We'll type in CMD. If you're um, running Windows 7 or earlier, you can go to start run and type in CMD. That'll open up the command prompt. First thing you want to do is type in Java C. You should see all this stuff scroll by. If you don't and you see some error message, go ahead and look at my tutorial for installing a Java development kit. You'll want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly so you can run the tutorials. Type in cd space backslash. cd is short for change directory. Backslash tells it to go to the root. Type in md java. md is make directory and it'll make a Java folder. I already have it, but if you didn't, it would go ahead and create it for you. We'll go ahead and change to that Java folder. We're going to do an md uh, enhanced four and we'll go ahead and change directory to the enhanced four folder we just created now we're going to do a notepad enhanced four dot java so enhanced four dot java is going to be our source code file name let's go ahead and hit enter on that and control v to paste let's go ahead and save this out here now here's our class declaration enhanced for. We've got our main method entry point here, and of course everything inside the main method, this code block here, is going to execute top down. So we are basically declaring a reference variable number number array assigned to an array object of 11 int data type elements. Okay? And then we're going to load the array using a standard for statement, and the array will contain all the even numbers from 0 to 20. Okay, so basically, just to kind of go over the standard for statement, in the standard for statement, you have um, at least two semicolons. And then right up here in this, this particular portion of the for statement, you have your initialization section. And then this is going to be our termination section. In other words, once this, this will keep looping as long as this returns true. Once it returns false, that'll break out of there. And this is our increment section where it increments the, uh, you know, the original variable here. Um, so basically we are going to start off with index zero, right? For the number array. And we are going to set that, that particular element value equals to i times 2. And that's how we'll get all of our even numbers in there, right? So when it starts off and goes through the first um, iteration of the for statement, 0 times 2 is going to be equal 0. So that'll be our first uh, even number in the array. Now when we come back, i will now equal 1, right? Not 0 anymore. So when i is equal to 1, that'll load in the second element of the array which is at index one okay one times two is two so that'll set that value there so that'll continue on so on and so forth so now we're going to read the array using the enhanced for statement so we'll just do a simple print um, uh, of the string literal right here and now we're going to use the new for statement so we have to match the data type of 
the data types that are in the array, right? And since they're all int, primitive int data types, we have to declare a variable that matches that. And that's just our temporary variable here. So um, int temp var. And then we use our special colon syntax here and then the name of the array that we have up here. And we're basically just going to iterate through it and we're gonna print out. What happens is that as it, as it goes from sequentially through the array, right? The first element, the first index is zero. It'll go ahead and assign the value of that to this, this temp var, right? And we can access that through this iteration. Then when it comes around next time, it knows that, okay, we still got more stuff in the array. Let's go ahead and um, assign whatever is in the next element value to temp var, right? And then we're just gonna print that out and then put a space after it. And it'll continue on doing that all through all the elements of the array, assigning the value of that element temporarily to temp var, okay, for that iteration. So let's go ahead and save this out and let's run it here. We'll compile it and run it. Let's clear our screen. Java C for the Java compiler. And I just hit E and then I hit tab on the keyboard to pop that up there real quick. That was a shortcut on that. So we'll go ahead and compile that. Now let's call the Java virtual machine or JVM, the Java runtime. And let's invoke the enhanced for class. Strip that stuff off there. And basically what we got is we got the number array element values, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We got exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> All of the even values from 0 to 20. Um, so when we come back here and we look at this here, we've got our, our printout there. And then basically we're just displaying the... Um, the, ver the elements as we're iter as it's iterating through the uh, whole entire array here. So that's basically how the enhanced for loop works there. We didn't need to know the number of elements in the array or declare it like that to read it. So let's go ahead and close out of this, close out of that. Um, the, yeah, I really don't have any final thoughts on this. It's, it's uh, pretty straightforward. You're, you're only going to use it to basically read through um, some sort of collection of objects such as an array. Uh, that's, that's pretty much where it comes in handy. I do use it on a fairly regular basis. And as a matter of fact, I think in my next tutorial when I talk about some of the, some more of the main method details, I'll, I'll definitely use that, the enhanced for statement. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.